In order to create a durable engine piston, Pakistan has to do sand casting. After simple processing on their lathe, the copper piston can be used directly. The imported engine piston in front of us has serious mold problems. Parts cannot be bought in Pakistan, so the owner found a small workshop to make it. For this kind of piston with high precision requirements, the master first has to cover it with sponge. The main purpose is to increase the diameter of the mold. Provide a certain processing space for the subsequent lathe. After the live picking meets the requirements of the yarn casting injection molding, in order to reuse these hardened sands, the master first throws them into the mixer. The mixer turns the sand into powder, then use a flamethrower to gradually heat it. The temperature of the sand can rise rapidly so that it can be completely neutralized with the exhaust gas oil to achieve the purpose of increasing viscosity. After the master stirs for 10 minutes, in order to prevent the sand from being absorbed on the inside of the piston, a layer of mold release agent must be applied to the surface. After the mixture is hydrated, a layer of parting sand is sprinkled on it. In this way, even if the sand completely covers the piston, while pressing and compacting, it is necessary to pierce air holes to prevent the heat generated by the glue casting from cracking the mold. After confirming that it is correct, the upper cover is also filled. On the premise of reserving the glue casting port, a mold is simply formed. Then separate the piston in position. The interior is the space for copper water glue casting. In order to prevent the hollow mold from collapsing, the master needs to use a flamethrower to heat it. The upper and lower molds can be completely hardened. After the glue casting mold is created, because the production cost of copper is relatively high, when there is not enough raw material, the copper-clad iron turbine can only be returned to the furnace for remaking. As the turbine is continuously heated by the furnace, the brass layer has been separated. When heated by heavy oil, the temperature inside also rises very quickly. It took three minutes for the block to turn into copper water, then pour it directly into the mold. Since the volume of the piston is not large, the entire glue process is also extremely fast. After molding, the piston is directly demolded. The sand that does not require hardening increases the difficulty of demolding. After the ground is cleaned, the barrel block at the mouth of the rubber column is cut off with an angle grinder. The size at this time is definitely not in line with the requirements. Their low-end lathe is required for cutting. When the surface is very rough, a layer of the surface must be cut off with a lathe to ensure that the original smoothness can be restored. However, cutting will change the size. The thickness of the sponge filling in the early stage needs to be completely cut off by the lathe. Only in this way can the piston be restored to its original size. After the scene is confirmed, the entire bottom must also be cut and cut. There will be data errors at the fixing of the claw-free plate. Although they only have a simple lathe, the accuracy of their eight-level front bar is also very high. It will not affect the normal use of the piston. After a simple pretreatment of the inside and outside, the piston ring needs to be installed on the piston. The edge needs to be cut with a groove cutter for cutting. The original piston ring is used as the processing basis. The same groove is attached to the piston. Then the edge hair is removed with a wrong knife. The hair-free hair will also affect the use. When the connecting rod needs to be fixed with a piston pin, the side needs to be drilled with a bench drill until the whole position is completely penetrated. So the copper piston is ready. What do you think of this piston?